Greetings to us all today in the name of our Lord and our Saviour Jesus Christ. Welcome to our time of devotional worship today, Monday the 13th of September. Please keep obeying the rules. Keep up being careful and taking all the precautions when you leave your house or your family bubble. The letter of James chapter 4 verse 6 says, But the grace that God gives us is even stronger. As the scripture says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. James chapter 4 verse 6. There are those who know better than us in how to be safe. Please get vaccinated. It is the best way we can be immunized from COVID and its variants. May today be a peaceful day for your family bubble. Now the theme for today's devotion is don't let pride get in the way. Don't let pride get in the way. The first Bible passage comes from Proverbs chapter 16 verses 8. Proverbs chapter 16 verses 18. I'll say that one more time. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 18 are these words. Pride leads to destruction and arrogance to downfall. Pride leads to destruction and arrogance to downfall. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 18. The theme for today's devotion, don't let pride get in the way. The book of Proverbs is a book of wisdom and teachings, many of whom were written by Solomon, the son of, the, the son of King David. Solomon himself became king and he built a beautiful temple to the Lord. No doubt Solomon's reign and his teachings would have been influenced by his upbringing by his father, David. Solomon was wise. He was a visionary. He was smart. He built a beautiful temple to the Lord. In fact, Solomon only asked God for one thing, that God would give him wisdom to lead the people. God gave Solomon wisdom, but Solomon misused that wisdom to do as he wanted. He disobeyed God's laws. Solomon married foreign women and took many wives, and he took on their beliefs, which went against God's teachings. Solomon went from being one of the most prosperous and productive kings of Israel to leaving Israel in a mess when he died. He started off well, but he ended up badly. You see, the power got to him. The same thing happened to King Saul, the very first king of Israel. He started off well, but then the power got to him and he fell from grace. Don't let pride get in the way. Being humble always allows yourself to simply do your best in anything you do. And you don't do it to win. You don't do it to be first or to compete or to be the best. Not at all. You do your best because you want to do an honest job. Be careful of talking yourself up. You know, a famous boxer once told me this. You're only as good as your last fight. You're only as good as your last fight. Don't let pride get in the way. 
Now, the second Bible passage comes from Psalm 139, verse 23 and 24. Psalm 139, verse 23 and 24 are these words. Examine me, O God, and know my mind. Test me and discover my thoughts. Find out if there is any evil in me and guide me in the everlasting ways. Examine me, O God, and know my mind. Test me and discover my thoughts. Find out if there is any evil in me and guide me in the everlasting ways. Psalm 139 verses 23 and 24. The theme for today's devotion, don't let pride get in the way. Are you too proud to apologize to someone that you have hurt? Are you too stubborn and proud to say, I'm sorry, I apologize, I made a mistake, please forgive me? Sometimes we are just too proud, too stubborn and hard-headed to apologize to someone. You know that you need to say sorry to someone, but you don't want to do it. Now, if what I have said speaks directly to you, then may today be the day you say sorry and apologize to the person you did wrong to. Don't let your pride get in the way. Many of the Psalms were written by David and there were times during David's reign as king of Israel that David saw that the spiritual lives of his people were failing. Sin was on the rise. People were rejecting God's teachings and David himself was guilty of this in terms of his own personal life, his own sins. So David turned to God. He prayed to God for forgiveness and for a clean heart and that he would do what is right and what is just. David put aside his pride. He put aside his position as king and he humbled himself before God. Would you do the same? Would you humble yourself to someone you know you did something wrong to. David became a much better person for letting go of his pride. He didn't let his pride get in the way of him apologizing to God. And David became a much better person for doing that. So too will you become a better person if you let go of pride. Remember, don't let pride get in the way of apologizing and admitting you were wrong and therefore you saying sorry. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the peace that you give to us each day. For your peace passes all understanding, yet we feel it in our hearts when we allow the power of your holy word to speak to us. Help us to let go of pride. Help us to be to humble ourselves before you in that we may be taught, we may accept correction and change our ways. Thank you, Lord God, for your son, Jesus Christ, who died to forgive our sins. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you bless all essential workers, all those working from home, and all who are doing their schooling online, may we use this day wisely. Heavenly Father, bless and protect, strengthen all the vulnerable, the sick, those who are isolating. Grant to them all your healing mercies, Lord God. We pray this prayer, Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. May you continue to obey the rules of the lockdown that we are in 
and we shall see you again tomorrow.